How's it going? Cross here. Welcome to our channel. Um, so today we are playing FTL. Um, nice little game. We shall uh, see how we get on with this. I don't want to start a new game. I literally just started one just to see how it loaded up. So here's our starting chip. Mm. Let's uh, get straight into it. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Okay, so here's our ship. We have our little crew on here, as you can see on the left up here. They have their skills, piloting, evasion, um, and you have the little rooms where they can do different things. So you've got the oxygen, weapons, engines, shield, and so on. Sorry. <laughs> Um, you can move them around, so I'll tend to have someone on shields, just here, down here, should make your shields a bit more powerful. See? Because it's manned, you get 10% faster recharge. So, let's power up our weapons, got someone in there, and on this, 10% faster charge. And for driving, we get plus 5 evasion. Uh, you do need someone driving to be able to jump, so you must have a crew member in the pilot. Obviously, you have to get them to repair your ship, um, which you'll see as we go along. Um, oh, I will save them in their current location. Is it enter? Cool. Okay. So here's the map. Start off on the left hand side. You've got to move over to the right hand side. Um, as we go along, you will see that there is a red <laughs> that will follow us, and we've got to get away from it. Uh, we don't want to go to a store straight away if we can help it, but we have to. So anyway, we can go. We have no money. Uh, you find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels that hail you and apparently have some valuable tech for sale. We can't afford anything. I think so. No. I can't buy anything for 10 fuel. So I've one fuel on a missile. So let's go to the next one. Okay, you pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. There appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work on military ships. Again, we're not damaged, so I can inquire. There we go, off to upgrade your reactor and change for some scrap. Fortunately, we don't have enough. We only had 10 anyway before we went to the shop. Just turn them down. You thank them and move on. Here we go, here's the red. If you go in there, that's where <laughs> you'll get destroyed. Uh, I do get caught by quite a lot, but we'll, we'll see. We'll go again. A rather large fleet of civilian ships are held at this section. It appears to be a rebel checkpoint. Everyone is being inspected for possible ties to the Federation. No one has noticed you yet. What should we do? Let's stay hidden. We'll definitely stay hidden. And jump to the next one. So if you hover over here, you can see which are the possible outcomes. It shows you all the links. So I think we go there and try to work our way all the way along. Can we get them out? Yeah. Obviously, the more jumps, the better, because more chance of finding some stuff. Here we go. An unidentified ship is badly damaged. It's still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins to distress message until the pirate cuts in an office to split the bounty. If I sit in tight. So I can get two fuel, two missiles, and nine. Yeah, let's accept that arrive. Good choice, Sam. We both come out of this richer. Thank you. I'm not going to fight if I don't need to. Let's keep going. You receive a request. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there have been reports of a Mantis war camp. Only a few jumps from us. Can you help? Yeah, see so we can give it a go. Thank you. If you can just give us the count on the numbers, perhaps we can get the rebels to help. I've added a quest marker. Okay. Well, nice. So I need to go down here. Let's go to the stress and then down to the quest. Sometimes these are traps. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You held them, asking what's wrong, help, but being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. 
send the crew to help giant onion spiders in a drip. No, I don't want to lose anyone. Leave them alone, you can't risk finding someone. Let's to jump. Let's go. Let's do this quest. You find the mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately there's not much you can do. It'd be suicide to attack directly. Leave or bombard. Let's bombard. You fire at their fuel depot, but a shot from their surface rips the missile to shreds. They must have planetary defence systems set up already. You can try to get away, but never have a patrol ship moves in to attack. Okay, here we go. Our first fight. So, as you can see down here, our weapons are slowly building up and then we can attack. So we've got the rocket and the laser. We use the laser a lot more because it doesn't use anything. The rocket does um, bypass shields there. So there you go. I don't know if you saw their health up there go down. Also took their weapons down so it would be a lot quicker. Best bet is usually to go to the shields first to be honest. If you can get them damaged. Try and save our rockets. Come on. Look at that shield sound. One more hit. And they're gone. There we go. One down. What do we get? But the patrol ship destroyed you, hasten to leave. It won't be long before the other ships catch up. Nice. That's good. Let's take it. Um, let's go up here, then we'll jump back down to the exit. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to advance that seems to have advanced hacking tools and they've tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Another fight, here we go. These look a lot better. Oh no. Ouch. Okay, so their shield is... Oh, see, now I've got to take them over there to fix the option for we all. Basically drown. <laughs> I don't know. Suffocate, that's the word I was looking for. There we go, taking them out. We just gotta fix our stuff. Two tent, nice. Alright, let's chuck two people over here to fix this. Oh, he's done it. Cool. And you need some health, you can go in the med bay. Right, let's jump again. We want to find somewhere else, someone else. A mercenary has your greetings, friend. We've heard tells your quest and here to offer our valuable services. We don't need you, because we're about to go. Thank you, then. Um, yeah, let's go. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Thank you. When you ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives you a Skylax for a drone. Nice. Thanks, mate. I fit. Oh, I need a drone system. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's go. Next sector. Let's go. I think I don't like the nebula ones. I'll probably go around there. Okay. Let's go to the civilian one. Should be a bit easier. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before pursuing Red Wolves capture you. We'll just trust beacon straight away. Let's do it. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks like it's fleeing from rebel advance and ran out of fuel. The stress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. And its communications seem to be down. It's prepared to board. 
It looks as if the ship ran out of fuel, and the crew ran out of food not long after. Despite the grisly scene that remains, you find one surviving crewman locked in the freezer. Almost perfectly preserved and apparently overlooked by the starving crew. Is that a dog? No, it's a rock. Have you got any? Nice. Um, what do you give me? Sea ship's interior. Yeah, do that. I want to see their interior. Thank you. What's your name? Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Oh, shop. That's what we want. Might better buy someone else. Transmission from nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travellers. You send down a away party to check it out. Oh, I can't afford the drone. You might just sell that one. So, look okay, at 83. Okay, have to fix 73. Okay, they don't have any people to sell. Let's get some more fuel. Another two rockets. And I think we can upgrade our ship. Yes, we can. So I need power cell. And then. Oh, yes, we can level up our shields. Yeah, let's do that. Now we put another power. Why not? Put the power there for now. Okay, I need to get to the second one. Perfect. Let's go. Another, another shop. Let's go in here. You detect a rebel scout on the attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Let's intervene. Come on. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. Let's do it. I can see where they are now. Oh, they got repair drones. I can see their names. Erin Swamps. Okay, so you can... Oh. Let's do that. Yes. You can actually kill their people. Rocket straight for the shields. Yes. Okay, fire, that's what we want. Let's take out their option. Oh, they're gone. Nice. Ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. Thank you. The outpost hells. For po <laughs> yep. Let's defeat the Federation. Take this to your help. Even more. Oh, I didn't even notice we got attacked. Oh, no, just stay in there. This is something really cool you can do. You can open doors. And you can suffocate the fire. Obviously, the rooms that are red have no oxygen, so you will start to lose health from that. Perfect. And then let's close all the doors. Perfect. Let's go into the nebula, I think. Yeah. Danger. The pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler. Ooh. Let's attack. It must have something good. You power up your weapons and move in and engage. Okay, because we're in the nebula, we can't see a lot. So we can't see if they come on board or anything. Hey, how are you? We realise your ship is no match for us. If you let us go, we'll make it worth your while. <clears throat> see, sometimes if you take them out, it'll be worse than what you get. But we started, we'll take them out. Okay, let's go heal that. Oh, repair, repair, repair. That should be it. Yeah. 
The ship appears to have been transporting prisoners. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, less of that. Oh, is there a hole? Why is it not? Hit yep, back in there. Run, 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 run. Get some health. Okay, you don't need oxygen. You can do it. Okay, you can just repair that for now. Let's go to distress. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbit in an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their radar crew can't approach without being fired on. They look for some help to fix or disable it. Let's help them. You can see your options. Fire on the system. You fire a few volleys from a distance and it is clear the defense system is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there is trouble. Oops. Let's just go straight for the exit. Let's get out of here. You jump into a sector in the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automatic, automated rebel scout station at the beacon moves into attack. Oh, it's invisible. Oh, I've got. Ouch. Um. What shields? Or oh, just fire rockets. I miss. Um. Oh no. This is not good. It's going to be a very long fight. Should just take out. Why don't I take out the weapons? All they're doing is slowly taking my shield down. There we go. They've got no weapons. I'm going to save my rocket and just fire on him. Just go away for the laser. There we go. That was painfully long. Ship explodes, leaving behind a snatch collection of useful scrap. Thank you. Right, let's get out of this storm. Because I can't do a lot. This long range beacon is almost hidden with the nebula. Lift to charge, you can. Oh, yeah, it's charged. Nice, thanks. Let's go. Oh, rock control. Good old rock guy. The rock people have a particularly aggressive stance towards alien races trespassing in their space. You should tread carefully. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to leave that one here. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.